Happy New Year! Welcome to my first video of 2021. So, without further ado, I'm the Budget Modeler, and this is episode 11 of my Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter Build. I'm just measuring out the rod for the tops of the modules here. So, let's crack on, get that speedy uppy thing wound up, and let's get rocking! I've had to bend the pieces to the contour of the module, then what I've got to do is stick them down with super glue. Damn you, autofocus work! I promised to do more things under the camera. I've noticed that I keep pulling my hands out of shot. So there's another one to rectify. Well, there's the front and rear modules done. Sorry, I know, I forgot to do a show and tell. Anyway, enough of my inconsistencies. Let's get on with putting the landing gear on. Rather than use normal plastic glue, I'm using super glue as it gives a better, stronger bond. I found on previous builds that the plastic glue weakens the plastic, especially this old plastic, so super glue it is. Whoop whoop! Look, I remember to do a show and tell! This is the front module. As if you can't guess. Well, it's got the pointy bit, the cockpit on it. And now for the rear module. You can't get this one. No, the rockets aren't on there yet, so you can't tell. There we go folks, let's take a quick look and see how it's going. There's the front, the back and the top connector. That's looking good. I'm happy so far, but will it last? Mm, that's the question. Okay, let's carefully put that to one side and crack on with painting the exhausts.
those are all done now let's move on to the main ones at the rear I'm using Tamiya X11 Chrome here That's the rear exhaust painted. And another missed show and tell. Anyway, I also noticed a few broken bits that needed sorting, so I'd better crack on and sort those out. Now to paint the thrusters. Again, I'm using Tamiya X11 Chrome. There you go, that's the thrusters painted. Now to paint the VIP pod orange. I'm using Citadel's Fire Dragon Bright. So, let's load the airbrush and crack on. I'm using uh, my KK Moon Trigger airbrush with a 0.4 needle at about 12 psi. That's if you're interested. There's that coat done, so while that's drying, let's crack on and do some decals. I'm going to start with the cockpit section. Anyway, at this point, I was hunting for the decal call-out sheet. Couldn't find it. Not in the instructions, not on the back of the decals. Hmm, where the hell are they? It was a little frustrating. After some research, I found them. Guess where? on the outer side of the inner box. Who puts a decal call out there? NPC do, obviously. So, I decided to crack on and do the deckling. Now I had instructions. So, out comes my trusty wax heater that I stole off the missus. Well, she wasn't using it. Anyway, it keeps the water at a great temperature. The decals only need to be in there for about 10 seconds especially these ones they are so thin it's ridiculous anyway less waffle more decals oh by the way i ate declan i hope you appreciate this Look, a show and tell, get me.
Good Lord, how thin on top am I? So here's a quick look at the deckling so far. I have to say I'm enjoying this for a change and I do like the decals that show the crew members inside. That's really cool. Because of the size of it, this big one was really worrying me, especially as how thin the decals are. But surprisingly, it went on nice and smooth. That's the front module now done, and this seems like a good as place as any to leave it. So, remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video, and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling!